Today, Precarious plays Ratchet and Clank. Those nasties in the distance. Not those nasties. <laughs> you sure showed those crates a thing or two. Welcome to this very special last episode ever of Precarious Plays. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh fuck, you're gonna get me killed! <laughs> Was yeah. that what you meant? Did you know that they were gonna shoot? Yeah, mm -hmm. as you can't be serious. Well, no. You see, what's gonna happen? This is gonna be my last episode of Precarious Plays because after we're done here today, I'm gonna drive to the George Washington Bridge. I'm gonna throw myself off head first. <laughs> Except the trick is, I'm not gonna have a bungee cable or optical jump. Oh, never mind. It was a it was good response time though. I totally thought they were gonna shoot over that though. No, I got this. But Never. I'm I'm not gonna have a bungee cable or optical camouflage or military training or like a real strong snake body. I'm just gonna splat against the water. That's my plan. Can we do um don't? <laughs> Can we uh don't? Can we not? Well wait, I read this article earlier this week and it said not to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's really bad for you. What? It was uh, actually. Uh, n n um. Oh, George Washington Bridge is in New York, right? Is a quick uh, aside. I am not completely sure. And things are shooting at me. Well, it was at the local city uh, tourism bureau <laughs> website. <laughs> it's an article on their website telling you to not. Please don't throw yourself up. No, you know what? Screw it. It was just like an American, just general purpose cultural expectations website. It said, please Welcome don't throw to yourself. America. Bridges are not for jumping. <laughs> yeah, please don't throw yourself <laughs> off of any of our bridges, even if you have a bungee cable and optical camouflage. In fact, you know what? Especially if you have a bungee cable, optical camouflage. There. I take issue with the plan, the villain plan. Not your plan, your plan is oh, fine. Oh, my plan's fine. Okay, I was gonna say, because I'm wasting an awful lot of pretty expensive shit. Is that a tank? There's a tank. Yeah. Okay, good. Just wanted to make sure that I wasn't seeing tanks where there weren't tanks. No, down, damn it. Okay. Down, meow, meow, to dwarf flappers. So mired. Oh, so mired. The villains want to blow up Veldon because it has, I believe, the exact quote was the galaxy's most perfect orbit. I uh -huh. think. I'm pretty sure it was the galaxy's most perfect orbit. Oh, bollocks. Maybe it was the universe, but I don't know if he was that confident in his statement. The important thing is they're blowing up this planet so they can park their new planet in its orbit. And I say, I say park it for a very particular reason. It's because they're treating it like a parking spot. Yeah. And it's not. No, That's it's not. That's not how orbits work. Not really, no. I mean, no. Eh, nah. Unless there's something... Unless there's something really major that I don't know about gravity, that is. Yeah. Maybe having... an equally massive or similarly massive body on the distant side of a star does something uh -huh. that I don't know about. To an orbit? Oh, fucking That's what? a lot of rockets. Hmm. Good thing we did a workout and got healthy. I mean, drank a juice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ratchet work to get stronger? No. No. Drink a juice. He drinks two cans of juice a day. That's his workout. Lift can, two mouth. Crush can on forehead. Lift can, two mouth. Crush can on forehead. That's it. And he goes back to bed. You're running low on Devastator. I know. I would use more Visibomb. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, I think that they could just use their cartoon science magic to, I'm sorry, cartoon magic science. Oh, yes. Yeah. 
It's Order's a, important. It's a respected field. I wouldn't want to dishonor its name. Um. They should use their powers to just hold the planet or just move it on the far side of the orbit and they can both have it. They never even have to see one another because a sun will be in the way. Yeah. They won't even know that they're there unless, you know, they try really hard Yeah. to, to remember. <sighs> Boots. Another tank and another gunship and another okay. floaty man. Yeah, I got it. Don't forget that you can detonate it in air, in midair. Okay. Bam, didn't even need to. Mm. I'm getting better at this. It's about time. I mean, we're almost done. Uh, I'm I'm a, ha, ha, ha. But that's the thing. Not only are there more games in this series where it will pretty immediately oh, oop, if you had you had tapped that button, man. If you had tapped that yeah, button. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You would have blown his babies off. Y what? <laughs> have blown his, his You're saying all kinds of inappropriate nonsense. His babies off. I was trying to politely suggest that you would have exploded his testicles. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, okay. Yeah, and adding adding characteristics uncharacteristic of machines happens all the time and it's fun. Okay. And it's fun and it's charming. Yeah, but then it it's becomes It's fun. I'm fun and charming, damn it. Okay, but then sometimes <laughs> strike witches. <laughs> oh, you brought strike witches into this. Oh. Come on, fly truth. We only saw the sweet soul. Yes. <laughs> we only saw the the advertisements for strike witches. We never watched an episode, did oh, we? Oh, yeah, but sometimes, you know, they say don't judge a book by its cover, but there are just so many books and <laughs> Sometimes, you know, <laughs> I'm not that desperate to to try to engage with that piece of art at the moment. Here's the thing. I'm not not interested. Anime is a special special genre because there's something for for everyone, for every occasion. Mhm. Mm every day of the week. Yep. You can have a different special interest that is represented somewhere in anime. You want a drama about about playing baseball, indoor volleyball, tennis? You got all of that. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I really liked Prince of Tennis. <laughs> <laughs> I had forgotten I had forgotten that that was that was one I actually watched. Yeah, didn't we yeah. start to watch something about swimming? Is there a swimming thing? You started watching one about about really intense, beautiful boys swimming. Yeah, it was a little weird. Intensely and beautifully. Yeah, it was it was a little weird. I started watching one about really competitive youth baseball. Yeah, but I started watching one and I'm continuing to watch one about uh, junior high. Concert, Concert band. band. Sound Euphonium, we can both agree, is amazing. We've talked yeah, about it before, though, so that's it. no surprise. I think what it, have we <laughs> talked about Food Wars? Food Wars is awesome. I'm sure we've talked about Food Wars. There's no way we haven't talked about Food Wars. But you want to see people speak at length, very passionately, about all varieties of food. Anime has you covered, mm -hmm. and it does it at a level that like the Food Network can't, can't even, can't even get <laughs> can't close. approach. Yeah, not even in the same state, not in the same continent, mm -hmm. not even in the same legal code. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Okay, is this a fucking trap? No, I don't. Because I mean. In Food Wars, think about think about trying to authentically recreate even just one of those scenes. One of the the scenes where someone's 
clothing explodes off and they're transported to the distant countryside. Hey, you know? is that our home? No, that's, that's the reverse. That's the patchwork awful planet. Yes. Oh, that's so sad. And seeing it, look back <laughs> at it for a moment. I'd ask for my money back. Yeah, it is a little patchy. That is not a great, that is not the mark of a great craftsman, mm. being able to see the seams. Yeah, they like they need to go to Magrathia and get themselves some quality fucking planet. 